learn some acro tricks. Dancers, this is Rachel Uter. She is a professional dancer, choreographer, and teacher, and she's here to teach us some acro tricks. Should we get started? Yes. Let's do it. Let's do it. All right, guys, so we're gonna learn a cartwheel first. So I'm gonna teach Miss Audie here how to do a cartwheel. We're gonna start first. You're gonna tondu one foot. <gasps> Look at your feet. Sorry, okay. <laughs> and reach your arms up high to the sky. Now you're gonna place that foot down and come into a big lunge. And I always like to say your belly button faces the front of the room so you don't get confused on what direction you're going. Okay. Your hands are gonna be up and then I have a little trick and I say wave hello to the mirror. Cute. And that helps to, to know like where your hands are gonna go. So arms are up, you wave hello to the mirror. You're gonna think hand, hand, foot, foot. So as soon as you put this first hand down, Hand, hand, you're gonna kick foot, foot over, and you're gonna lay in exactly the same position just on the other side. Okay. Like, beautiful. I love it, and legs are straight the entire time, or are we like bending through? So you're gonna lunge into your first leg, and then right when you put your hands down, this first leg that kicks up stays straight, and then that's the first leg to bend when you land. <gasps> okay, I love it. Try yes. it. Yes, try it. Got it. <laughs> Wait. Perfect! Yes, okay. and then you always want to start with your arms up and finish with your arms up. Okay, that will lead you into your next trick. Do you have any tips on like sticking the landing? Maybe I totally try to squeeze in. Yeah, squeeze your core for sure. And then that first leg, as long as you bend this knee, you'll be in a stable position. You're not going to be super stable if both your legs are straight. When you land, that's probably what so, I did. Yeah, how okay. to like a, a deep lunge. Let me go one more time. And then lunge, arms up. Yes, squeeze it! Yes, gold medal, okay? Yes, thank you. Amazing, yay! Love it. All right, you guys, we're gonna learn a ponche forward roll next. So I'm gonna show it what it looks like, the full version. So dancers, if you know your ponche, you're gonna go all the way down into your needle. And then once your hands hit the floor, and so um, so you definitely want to have a forward roller or a somersault before you try out this trick. So make sure that your hands are down onto the floor. You tuck your chin in super, super tight, and then you don't want to land on the top of your head. You want to land on your upper back, because that hurts. <laughs> so hands on the ground, you'll tuck your chin in super, super tight, curl into a tiny ball. You'll give yourself a little push, and then stand up. So you want to make sure you have that before you try the leg in the air. I feel like whenever I like try and do this ponche roll or I try and teach it if it's like a like, solo or something. Yeah. Dancers always forget to tuck their chin into their chest and then yes. they like land on the back of their spine. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And especially if you don't have a mat, it's super painful. Ooh, yeah. If you have like a softer surface, maybe just start. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely carpet or something. Should we teach them? Yeah. Let's okay. Do it. So you're going to step forward. Okay. Yeah. Whatever leg you want in the air, whatever you're most comfortable with, it doesn't matter. Start with one leg in the air and then your hands will go down onto the mat. Just like a forward roll, you're gonna tuck your chin in super, super tight. And you wanna get as close to this bottom leg as you can because if you're far away, you kinda have a far way to roll. So you wanna get really, really close. You can walk your hands in and then you sort of just tuck and roll and stand up. Your body kind of, your top leg kind of takes over from there. You're like, and then you just do it. And yeah. This one is, this trick is cool because it looks harder than it is. So I do love a ponche. Yes. And then, wait, Rachel, did you bend your bottom knee? I don't think I did. So you keep um, it straight, right? I think I did. Yes, keep it straight. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, man. I was hoping I was going to say bend. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so from here. And oh then walk your hands. Yes, and then get as close to that leg as you can, tuck and roll. Yeah! Oh, exactly! Yeah! It's a little scary the first time you do it because you're kind of far, but... It's so scary, yeah. but that really wasn't that bad. Mm -hmm. And then now that there's a harder version. Yes, we can level up. Rachel's gonna level up. <laughs> so the level up is just without hands. Um, so once you feel confident in that, you can go into your ponche and you wanna slide your palms facing up, down the mat like this as you go. So you're gonna go into your ponche, you're gonna slide your hands down the mat. Now you can use the mat and touch your hands there, but they're gonna slide right through. You're gonna roll. <gasps> So so you should try it. You should try it. <laughs> try it. Oh my god. Peer pressure. Wait, I'm so scared. So down with your palms and then tuck and roll. 
Okay, then you tuck your chin, hands here. Yes, and then tuck your chin and roll. Yeah! Yay! See, it's not that bad. That was not it's bad. not that bad. It just looks cool. <laughs> Poster child for being terrified of everything until I literally do it. That was awesome. Thank you so Yay. much. Yeah. All right, so we're going to learn some inside outs. Do you want me to show first? Yeah. Okay. Let's show it. So there's going to be two kind of variations to this. The first one is sort of the intro up to the full inside out. So you're gonna start in a bear crawl position. You flip to a tabletop, lift your hips up nice and high, and then bear crawl. And then the, the full version of this, you're gonna go into a bridge, hello, and then back into your bear crawl. So that's what we're leading up to. Amazing. Do we, we should probably be stretched for this, right? Yeah, so okay. you definitely wanna make sure you stretch your backs out for this, so push up into your bridge, or you can come into a tabletop and just lift your hips up nice and high. Yep, and then if yeah. you wanna go into your full bridge, you'll come down onto your back, and then you can plant your hands by your ears and stretch up. Only if you're able to do this. If not, it's totally fine to just I will be here. <laughs> Just fine. Okay, so how? How do I start? So we're gonna start um, in a bear crawl position or a down dog, whatever you wanna call it. So okay. you're gonna come onto your hands and your feet here. And then you're gonna lift whichever direction you're going. You can go either direction, but we're gonna go to the right. So you're gonna lift your left hand up and your left foot up and you're gonna flip into a tabletop position. Okay. Exactly. And you want your hips to be really, really, really nice and high, exactly. And then you're gonna flip back over, hand and leg back into your bear crawl position. Ooh. And then you're gonna go up and over again. Hips nice and high. Yes. And then back over, bear crawl. <laughs> and you can do those forever. And then you can go back the other way too. It would just be the opposite hand and foot. Oh, that's kind of fun. Like you go and then keep going, just lift it back. Yeah. That's in your little like bedroom. <laughs> yes. Just literally back in more space. I had a quick question. Yes. When you go from here and you flip over, do mm -hmm. you bend your knees before you do the flip? Or you keep them a straight question? They sort of bend in the process. Uh, okay. Because you want to end with them being bent. Yeah, when we go into the full bridge version, we're going to kind of have to bend. But you want to think of just shooting this left foot back. Ooh, and then yeah. you kind of just fall onto that foot. Okay. Yeah. Cool. That was so much fun. Yeah. Thank you so much for doing that with me. <laughs> Dancers are so cool. I, I know. Like, no, thank you. <laughs> Rachel, I do have one question for you though, and that is what would be like your best advice for a brand new acro student? I know it's a big mm -hmm. question. I think the most important thing for acro is to just commit yourself to whatever you're doing and to be confident in it because mm -hmm. probably if you do the things that were in this video, they look a lot more intimidating than they actually are. And if you just commit to it and trust yourself, you'll find that you can actually do like way more things than if you were just to not do it because you're scared. So literally, <laughs> <laughs> literally, yes, yes, video. Video. yeah. Okay, that's yeah. really, really good advice. Yeah. How do we find you? Um, you can find me on Instagram. Woohoo! Yeah, we'll put Plug my little handle right here somewhere. Yeah. Um, dancers, if you want more in depth tutorials, especially like stretch routines for acro to kind of help with flexibility, whatever, dance technique, don't forget to download the Tea and Me app. Check it out and you can start your free seven day trial. We'll see you next week. Dancers, if you loved this video with Rachel, don't forget to watch this video right here. And also, if you're loving the channel, hit subscribe.